hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Megan thanks so much for watching um, I wanted to talk about something that I haven't talked about in a very long time and the reason being is that I've been getting quite a few questions on some of my older videos about unicorn uit uterus related things and I wanted to make a video just to summarize all of those frequently asked questions that I get um, just so that everybody has like a like common place to go um, to try to get those questions answered. So before I get into everything, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell so you don't miss any updates and also go follow me over on my Instagram. Just know that I don't make TTC content anymore. I am not at that place in my life, but I do make mom videos, vegan lifestyle videos. I'm on a weight loss journey and um, yeah, so I make content about eco-friendly things, um, but I am just not in that place of trying to have kids anymore um but yeah i am going to be having surgery for the second time for endometriosis this december um so december 2021 i will be having another surgery so i will be making some content about that but i am not going to be making content about having any more kids so i will link a video about that in the cards for you guys um if you want to know more about that anyways let's get into these frequently asked questions so number one can I get pregnant the answer is yes um, and let me preface this by saying I am speaking only for myself um, I'm also not a doctor so Obviously, all of these questions you can ask your own doctor, fertility specialist, what have you. But speaking from personal experience, um, all of these things are based on my own experience. So there you go. But uh, question number one, can I get pregnant? The answer is yes. Um, question number two, can I conceive naturally? The answer for me was yes. Is that the case for everybody? No. Is it the case because of your unicorn you at uterus? Not necessarily. It depends because everybody's is a little bit different and everybody's situation is a little bit different. Um, in addition to my unicorn you at uterus, I also had endometriosis and we found out about my UU because I had surgery for endometriosis and having that surgery for endo most likely helped me get pregnant but um, yeah that, that's a really loaded question and really dependent on your particular situation and your anatomy and any other conditions that you may have going on um, so if you are pregnant what restrictions may you have um also depends um i personally did not have any restrictions until i was 17 weeks pregnant and that was not because of my unicorn uit uterus that was because i had placenta previa and i was on activity restrictions and pelvic rest i guess you could say um, so I was not allowed to get on and off the floor or lift more than 15 pounds and I have a particularly active job um, working with kids and so I had to be limited in what I was allowed to do for the remainder of my pregnancy. Luckily for me, my placenta moved. Not that it really mattered. I'll go into that later. Next question is, can I carry to term? The answer is a lot of people do. I personally did, I made it to 37 weeks. 
I didn't have any difficulties really until around 35 to 36 weeks and it was not necessarily because of my UU, it was because of blood pressure issues which can happen in any pregnancy. So it just depends. A lot of women with a unicornuate uterus deliver around like 27 to 32 weeks if it's going to come early. It just really depends. Um, unicornuate uteruses are very, very individualized, like I said before. So it really depends on your situation and your specific anatomy and everybody's anatomy with you is a little bit different. So the answer is you can most likely carry to term. A lot of people don't even know they have a UU until they have to go in for like a c-section so there's that um, another question that I get a lot is if you have to have a cerclage and I personally did not have to have one um, there's plenty of people in the Facebook groups um, there's two of them there's a unicornuate uterus pregnancy and beyond group and also a unicornuate uterus TTC group. Both of them are amazingly supportive. So if you are someone with a unicornuate uterus, I highly recommend you join both or one of those groups at least um, because there's so much support and information in those groups. Um, but I personally did not have to have a cerclage. I was monitored very heavily from 16 to 24 weeks and I went every two weeks to get cervical length checks and that was via ultrasound. I'm not sure that that's the case with everybody but for me that is what my doctors chose to do. Um, I also was not followed by maternal fetal medicine and that is because my doctors felt that they could manage my case and if they needed to bring in maternal fetal medicine, they were literally like down the hallway and they could call them in and consult them as needed. So for me, I did not see MFM. Um, so yeah, those are pretty much the most frequently asked questions that I get over and over and over again. So, if you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments below. Again, I am not a doctor. I am just someone speaking off their own experience. If you have any like individualized questions, definitely talk to your doctor about it. Um, but again, I will try to answer your questions the best that I can. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. I probably will not make any more videos about unicorn new uteruses specifically um, just for the simple fact that I don't plan on having any more kids again there's a video all about that and why that I will link in the cards so yeah thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video bye